Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Today, uh, I'm going to work on uh, 1.5 price demand equations. Um, so, you know that in business, price and demand, they have some uh, relationship uh, between two of these things, right? So, as the, um, uh, let's say, price, if the price, um, Okay. And the price uh, of an item go up, right? Price goes up. What happened? Okay. Uh, if you are a buyer, uh, demand should be go down, right? Uh, demand is go down. And inversely, if price uh, go uh, down, then demands uh, go up, something like that, right? <clears throat> so um, in um, simple linear model for the relationship between price P and demand F of P. So let me uh, notate this by P here and demand F of P here. They satisfy a linear equations um, of the form, okay? So, so, so between price and demand, we will have like a linear equation in the form as F B equal to A minus B P, where A and B are positive number. So, um, so this form look like look like what look like a linear form exactly right. So as you see there, the next B uh, will be a um, slope something like that, and A will be a um, y-intercept something like that, right? Um, <clears throat> so um, in since this is a business, so we're gonna consider that A and B are positive number, okay? So uh, let's we go deeply in it and have an example in, uh, about it. Um, so let's talk about gasoline, gasoline price, gasoline, gasoline price. Um, so the weekly demand for FP for gasoline in California depends on the price per gallon, as you know, right? If you uh, if the, the price of the um, gasoline is going up, absolutely your demand is going down. So um, <clears throat> so let's so let's uh, let's say after searching around and I get. And the uh, demand of um, uh, demand uh, and um, uh, the demand FP is given in thousands. Uh, let me say yes, in thousands of dollars. Okay, and um, we have we have uh, the function between demand, a price demand function will be F of P equal to 1,000 finance minus 200 P. So, so if I have a price at $3, three so dollar price, Right. Which is P equal to three in here? What's the demand gonna be, right? So what you do is you're gonna substitute the price equal to three into the into the function, prior demand function there, right? So uh, F of three, right, will be equal to, um, Equal to one five hundred minus two hundred times with three. So what do you have? 
So use the calculators, you will get one five hundred minus six hundred, and that gives you us nine hundred. So, so what does that mean? All right, what does that mean for this nine hundred? This means that um, highlight. So. Yeah. So Okay, yeah. so it means that um, demand right now will be 900,000, okay? The reason was, if you look at the, um, the problem, we say that demand given in thousand. So that means you will have 900,000, right? So, um, <clears> thousand, <throat> right, 900,000. Okay. Um, so weekly demand in this case will be about 900,000 gallon. Okay, so similarly, you would say at the price of four dollars per gallon, so we is like you know uh, p go to four and there, right? What is the the demand gonna be? So you will you will do the same things as above, okay? But you change that to be f of four. Right. So that gives us 1,500 minus and I get only 700,000. Right. So uh, you see that I raised $1. I raised $1, right? Uh, and $3 per gallon. Okay. I raise one dollar. Raise one dollar to be four dollar per gallon. Then the demand is seven hundred thousand. Which is we is um decrease uh decrease two hundred thousand right so so let's say decrease two hundred thousand right decrease two hundred thousand. So uh, actually, I'm gonna write is in the word thousand. And you see the reason I'm gonna explain to you why I write as two hundred thousand here. Okay. Uh, for this type of fun of functions, um, the um. I would say the lower price, the higher demand, right? 
the lower tracks gonna get the higher mean. So um, and as you see, we have decreased two hundred thousand. Why is that? So if you look at the number before P there is negative 200, right? That is, that is the reason, the negative 200 there telling us that if you, if you raise $1 for the price, it will decrease 200 Ks. Uh, to the thousands of demand, okay? Okay, so let's take a look at the next example and see what happened, right? So the marketing department at Diamond Nails has determined that weekly demand um, FP for the manic manicures, is FP equal to 800 minus 40P. Okay, so we'll highlight this guy, right? Where P is the price of a manicure in dollar. And this equation explains exactly how the demand depends on the, uh, on the price. So, but I say, what is the demand for manicure, uh, manicures when the price is $15? So same as above, I will, I will just, you know, just substitute F of P, P now is 15, right? Since price give us is $15, uh, will be equal to 800 minus 40 times with 15. What is that equal to? 800 minus 600. And that's give us 200. So is that 200? Demand gonna be just 200, right? Um, the problem in here is, uh, let me see. We don't, we don't have any, um, information about um, demand in thousand or what. So then this just be in unit, like in one items only. So like 200 items, right? 200 demand only, okay? So, um, so that is for the number of demand when the price is 1500. So I would say in, uh, in word, yeah. I will say that demand uh, and price is $15 the demand will be 200 money you and you should think about a week right because we are talking about in week not in a daily or month something like that right Yeah. So, um, so that means I have an order pairs as 15 comma 200, right? So I will, um, I will have a point at 15 and 200 there. Um, also, I want to evaluate 18 and interpret. So let's say F of 18. Actually, and I'll just copy this one. So 
So 800 minus 40 times 18. So what is that? 800 minus for 720. And that's give us 80 only. Okay, so, so I would say, what does that mean, right? So in the price, so as the price as $18, the demand will be 80 only. So wait. Okay, so what else we can have in here um, in order to graph this function? I may need to have some um, uh, some y in the set and I mean some p in the set and f p in the set. So let's say f of zero. What is that going to be? So you're going to have. 800 minus 40 times zero. What is that equal to? That is 800. All right. So then from this information, I will have an order pair as zero and 800, which is, uh, you know, the F of P in the set. Uh, the other in the set, Gonna be when um, P in the set, I mean, P in the set, you will set, uh, set F of P to zero. We have um, 800 zeros, go to 800 minus 40P. So that gives us 800 equal to 40 times P. You can make this as negative 800 minus 800 both sides, like make sure. Okay. So then you will have the P. will be equal to negative 800 divided by negative 40. So that's give us the P will be equal to 20. So here's P in the set. is uh, F of P in the cell. All right, so now we're gonna just go ahead and draw the line. Right. So we have, I mean, in order to get two lines, you have need only two points. So, I will I will use each each unit for for the vertical one is fifty right so it's fifty is hundreds so there's two hundreds is three hundreds it is four hundreds it is five hundreds it is six hundreds. Is seven hundred and is eight hundred, and this vertical one is stand for the F of P it is a demand, uh, and the horizontal one is for price. And then I have um, 
the FP in the set will be zero and thus, so I will use this one. And for the P in the set, I will use 20. So maybe I'm using two, four, six, eight, 10, 14, 16, and 20 here. So we we'll use this two point, right? Um, I will make it smaller to draw it easier. So, so mass draw this one. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw it. All right, so it's not gonna be perfect, but you know, <laughs> I try my best, sorry. Okay, so now we're gonna move down to the exercise, all right? Uh, before moving to the exercise, um, want to tell you that um, according to the price at $15 there, Right, uh, you have two hundred many cues, and at eighteen, we we mean you you uh, increase three dollar, right? You uh, you increase three dollar, then jaws um uh jaws jaws demand is decrease um uh, from two hundred to eighty, which is um. Uh, one hundred and twenty. Okay, so in order to to to, con to connect that uh, between the net forty here as a slope, it will just multiply by three, right? From forty here by three is one twenty. So at the, um, um, so so you will see it's about like uh, the way. So um. <clears throat> Uh, let's say note in uh. Increase the price three dollar, right? From fifteen to eighteen, right? Then the demand. will decrease decrease by three times forty which is one twenty. So you can see it's from 200 to 80 only, right? All right. All right, so now let's go up. So this exercise is um similar with the two previous one uh okay so i would like to let you try the best and um and finish this 
but I can give you some answer key. So, answer keys gonna be uh say thousand only. And this gonna be four hundred seventy, and this gonna be this. For this one, what price should we charge if we sell? And right, this one, given the demand, so we are given F of P equal to five hundred thousand. Um, actually, five hundred thousand. Then we want to know what's the P gonna be, right? Key in here gonna be P gonna be equal to two four four zero. And actually, I can do okay. So for D, for D, as the key gonna be F of one form for one nine 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 point five. And the last one you will think about what is this represent? Um, what is this going to be? Right. Right, you want to use from part A. But B, uh, but A and but D, right? And you wanna find that number, and the answer will be negative zero point five. Okay, I would like to give you more heat for per C. We you do like. So to find us for f of p, right? That's equal to one seven twenty minus for zero point five p. So you will have to five p from this equation by you know uh, isolate and find this little p. Right? Okay, so. Um, and you see in part E, right? Part E, you will get the answer as zero point negative zero point five. That's actually is exactly the value of slope or negative zero point five over here, right? So. Um, that tell us if you increase one dollar of the price, you will lost zero point five thousand or five hundred demand. Okay, so I go stay as a business people. I will stay like if. 
we increase one dollar um increase the price one dollar then demand will decrease pandas okay since zero point five thousand uh in thousand we're gonna be find us all right okay so let me just clean this up all right so you guys are gonna finish this and submit the work for me okay i'm gonna stop 1.5 here and see you in 1.6 later okay